morning grade 11s We're going to continue with our chapter on trig and this time it is trig values represented by letters it's almost like a very specific little compartment on its own a specific type of question that can get asked um, when they have for example if we look at example one if the tan of 22 is equal to k write the following in terms of k so my answer must just have k's in it so if we look at the first one the only thing we've got is that tan of 22 is equal to k so we've got to get everything back to 22 so if we start off with this if we look at a we see we've got a angle bigger than 90 degrees there so we want to change it to an acute angle by knowing our knowledge of reduction so 158 is going to be in the second quadrant and we know that tan is negative there and 180 minus 158 is equal to 22 degrees so that reduced is minus tan 22 but we know that tan of 22 is equal to k because we are given it there so therefore my answer is minus k I've written tan of 158 in terms of k my answer only has k in it sorted if we look at number b First thing I want to do here is I want to reduce this. And so tan of minus 22 minus, it's going to go this way. So that's in the fourth quadrant and tan is negative there. So that's minus tan 22, which is once again going to be minus K. Now we look at sine of 22. Okay, so now the angle is 22 and I want tan of 22 and that is going to be a little bit of a problem but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the knowledge that I have and the knowledge that I have is that the tan of 22 degrees is equal to k or I could see that as k over 1 because it's just k over 1 is equal to k and in terms of my ratios this is opposite over adjacent so if I quickly construct a little triangle here and I stick my 22 degrees there, tan of 22 is going to be opposite over adjacent, which is 1. So the length of my sides are k over 1. So now if I want to go and work out my hypotenuse, what am I going to do? Absolutely, I'm going to work with Pythagoras. And that means that h, my hypotenuse, is going to be the square root of k squared plus 1 squared, which is 1. I cannot take the square root of that because it's two terms. It's not one term. So if I go back now to my question, sine of 22 sine, remember, is always going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So in terms of my little sketch, opposite is going to be k over my hypotenuse let's go and fill this in here quickly we've worked it out my hypotenuse was k squared plus one square rooted so this is all going to be over k squared plus one so now I've written sine 22 in terms of k there we go now let's have a look at one more example over here now in this one here We've got sine of 40 equal to m. So that's what we've got. So we want everything back to 40. So if we look at the first one here, sine of 320 becomes minus sine of 40, which is minus m. I'm going to give you need to take time to look at these. Sine of 140, number B, we reduce it to sine of 40, which is just m. C have a look at c we reduce it and we get minus cos of 50 now this is an interesting one because that's not 40 that's 50 and we want it in terms of sine of 40 equal to m so what we've got to do in this scenario here is you've got to think ah co functions because you know that cos and sine are co functions so cos can change to sine and the complementary angle of 50 is 40 degrees so that's what we use there let's go down to d d is a case again the question was to find the cos of 40 
when we're given the sine of 40. So that's when we've got to draw a little triangle. So if we go here and we look at our triangle here, there's our 90. So sine is going to be y over r, or you could see that as opposite over hypotenuse. So my opposite, my opposite is going to be m. My hypotenuse is 1, and we need to work out what x is. Or we need to work out what the adjacent is. So using Pythagoras, x squared is going to be the longest side squared minus the other side squared, square rooted. Therefore, x is just going to be the square root of 1 minus m squared. And that's exactly what they've done over here. I'm just doing it um, shorter instead of writing the whole Pythagoras out. So now the cos of 40 over here, which is what the question was, is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse or x over r. So my x is the one I've just worked out. My x is going to be the square root of 1 minus m squared. So it's going to be 1 minus m squared over 1, which is just that. Tan of 40, we've got the angle right, which is 40. But tan now is going to be opposite over adjacent. And that's how we end up with m over 1 minus m squared. So grade 11s, take time to make notes of this and do these two examples. And then if you could do the following examples. And I haven't got it ready. So it's going to be page, I'm not sure, exercise, I'm not sure. Um, I'll give it to you tomorrow.